Welcome. In this video I'm going to be taking apart this Toro power shovel. It's broken and I want to try and repair it. So I've got it uh, plugged in right now and I've got a kilowatt hooked up to it showing amps. And then when I pull the trigger I see that there's no, it's not pulling any amps so this is the trigger here. So I don't know if the trigger is bad or something else is bad so I'm going to take it apart and investigate. Well, it doesn't seem like any electricity is getting through, so first thing I'll do is I'll take this apart and see if I can access the switch. Okay, I've got all the screws out. Those are very tight. I got this tape on it. This was purchased, as far as I've heard, it was purchased at a garage sale. It was a family member's, and it's not working, so I'm going to take a look at it, and I'll throw it away if I can't get it working. Okay, so we see here is the switch mechanism. So this is the safety. And then we have the switch here. Okay, so I should be able to test that switch. Let me get a meter. So I have this meter here, it has continuity on it here. So beep when I touch these two probes. So I should be able to, let's see how this is wired. Black and white. So it looks like these, uh, these two sides are the hot. Okay, so it looks like the switch is working. I think the battery might be going bad in my meter here. It was kind of acting weird. So it looks like the uh, switch is working, so I'll put all this back together and then we'll take the head apart and see what we have there. Okay, so I'll take this piece off now. It looks like there's a bunch of screws around the perimeter here. And uh, I'm using this uh, Philo screwdriver. I really like it. Uh, shaft goes all the way through to the end, so you could tap that with a hammer. It has flats on here if you need to get a wrench on it to really wrench on things. They're really nice. I'll put a link in the description of this. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit. It doesn't cost you anything extra. I'm having trouble getting into this thing and I see here that there's probably something behind here. Or not. <laughs> no. Probably same thing here. Yeah, nothing there. Well, I just lowered the value of that. <laughs> I'm going to take this, I'm going to take this side plate off. I don't think there's anything behind it, but to help me get into it. So it looks like here we have the belt and the motor and there's a tensioner here. So you could probably pull on this to get this belt off and then, um, you know, replace it if need be. I do see some bolts here, but I don't know. I think I'd have to take this whole thing apart to get into that. So I'm gonna keep trying to get this off. Okay, I found a hidden screw here. So that's coming apart now. 
Looks like there's also some screws here. There's one, two, three there. Okay, let's see if this comes off now. Okay, there we go. This doesn't look too great in here. There's a little bit of corrosion. Let me get a little closer. We've got a little corrosion here. And there's some just general rust on the motor. You see rust here too. So I've got these wires apart. I'm going to plug a little extension cord in here. So I have the power cord on the power sweep here. Okay, I've got my continuity here. I'm going to put a clamp on the switch. So I have the switch held down now. I should get a reading between the power cord and one of these wires here. Let me try the other side. Okay, so I got a reading there. So I'll put this back together and then I'll test the other conductor here with the, you know, the adjacent wire, this black wire here. So that's working. So we know power is getting down to the motor. I'll take the switch lock off. So it appears as we have, as if we have some sort of problem with the motor here. So at this point, I don't think I'm going to be fixing this. I, and I tried. It seems like more work than it's worth for me here. I will take this apart. For some reason, I'm keeping track of this, even though I don't care. So the white wires towards the front, the black is towards the back. Okay. I'll take this belt off here if I can get it off. This is probably under tension here, so I gotta be careful that this could fly up. So what I'll do is I'll release the tension here a little bit. I mean, that's not moving a lot, so hopefully this isn't under too much tension because it could fling back and hit my thumb. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to wear some thick leather gloves. Okay, so we've got that off. The belt should slip off now, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we've got the belt off. And here's the pulley. Looks like it has a bushing in there, and it has like a plastic interface between this and the um, paddle. This looks like it may thread on here. going to try holding the fan on the other side and see if I can loosen this. It threaded on and it was pretty easy to take off. Now I've got these uh, little bolts here. So these are eight millimeter bolts. What do 
or screws, really. So the motor looks almost ready to get out. It looks like I have this strap here I gotta loosen. Okay. I've got a couple more pieces here I gotta remove. I want to point out all these screws, most of these screws look the same except for the two uh, ones that hold the motor on. Okay, here we go. Got this apart. I'm gonna measure between these wires and the brushes and see what I get. Well, it seems like electricity is making it through here. I don't know why it's not working. Um, it's kind of hard to turn. But it, it seemed like electricity wasn't, um, you know, making it through. So I don't know what's wrong with this. It looks pretty bad. But that's all the further I'm going to go on this. Uh, this is probably going to go to recycling and the rest will be in the trash. Um, if you have any questions about this, leave it in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye. Well, when I finished shooting that video, I went up and had lunch, and I came back down, and I hooked the motor up just to a power cord and plugged it in, and it worked. I clamped it down. I don't know why. I don't know what I missed. I wasn't thinking right. So I just put the whole thing back together, and now it works. So let me turn it on. You can see now that it's working. So... I'm, I may be missing like a piece of rubber that goes back here, I don't know. And I'm missing this side, but I'm going to give it back to my family member and they can use it for a couple, you know, whatever, until it breaks again. And then they can throw it away. It's not winter time right now either, so it's not urgent. Until next time, goodbye.